Pisces, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being a highly sensitive being here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from spirit, particularly in the niche of a business. He is absolutely a business genius. Again, his information is going to be down below. But without further ado, Pisces, let's dive right in. So here we have the Six of Cups, the Death card, Wheel card, Magician, and the Strength card. Beautiful. So this opportunity, this time, this, this space you're in right now, know that things are moving ahead for you very quickly here. You're in a middle, the middle of a transition. You're in the middle of healing a lot of wounds. When this happens, things don't necessarily feel like great, but they are. there's a reason for everything. And the most important thing for you to remember right now is that if you come from a place of always remaining eager and excited to know what's going to happen next, then you're going to be in a satisfied energy. It's the satisfied energy that allows us to transition forward. If we are currently only reacting to what the universe is giving to us at this moment, then we're going to be in a reactionary state no longer in control of our emotions and what we're creating. Remember, emotions are just your internal GPS system. That is it, right? When something feels really, really good, that's the direction you want to put your focus into. When something doesn't feel really, really good, you do not want to think about it anymore in that space, right? And anytime that something feels awful, you want to make sure that you are, uh, you know, your higher being is basically saying that thought that you're thinking, that doesn't align with how, who we really are. Your authentic self mm -mm, doesn't align with it. So you want to change your thoughts so that it matches with what you truly want. It's like saying, it's, it's like if your inner being wanted to go for a hike and your smaller self was like, mm, I don't feel like going for a hike. I'm tired. Your higher self is like, that doesn't feel good. That's not what we do. We, we hike, baby. We love hiking. And when your smaller self says, you know, I'm eager and excited to go on this hike. I know that it's going to be a great a way to move my body and get some fresh air aligned you see and right now it's important to stay in alignment with yourself Pisces because the universe is saying loud and clear with this wheel card is that there are magnificent opportunities about to present itself in your life here we have the magician and here we have the strength card I mean these are major manifestations that are about to come into fruition here okay these are ones that I'm most likely I feel like you have even forgotten about because they've been so long ago and they are coming okay they are coming your desires your wants they always come when we are satisfied with what is currently happening and there may even be someone coming in from your past with the six of cups okay this and 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 you remember whenever we have energies coming in our lives we have manifested them to a degree so if we have if we are in our aligned self Anything that enters our life, we don't need to question because we're like, well, I am in my aligned self. And so because I'm in my highest regard, my highest sense of self, I'm only attracting what's best for me. If we are at any point in our lower vibrational, smaller self, where we're feeling a little bit more um, negative or opposed to what we want or um, complaining or, you know, feel uh, 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 ungrateful in any way, it's not our natural way of being angry, anxious, any of these emotions. It's not our natural state. It's just our awareness then of, oh, I'm not aligned with who I am. Changes need to be implemented. The first change comes with being aware of what our thoughts are thinking, because again, our thoughts implement how we feel. Right. And again, if you're thinking a thought and then you feel terrible after it doesn't align with who you really are. So that's your awareness of, oh, OK, wait a minute. I need to change up these thoughts. So always know if anyone enters your life from the past and you overthink and you're thinking like, oh, my gosh, is this right? Should I go for this? Is this where I'm supposed to be? Know that if you are feeling your highest self and if you feel confident and in alignment and happy and joyous and motivated, then yes, you are, that person is exactly where they need to be. They're placed there for a reason. You've attracted that means you're in the same uh, vibration energetically. Uh, if someone comes in from your past and you feel like you haven't been energetically in your highest light, then that's when you want to just remind yourself that, okay, you know what? I attracted this person back into my life. Maybe I've been talking about them, thinking about them, um, but they're back. So at that point, you want to really assess, is this situation going to work for me? And if it is not going to work for me and my highest regard, what, what I, what aligns with my highest self, what I want most, then it's time to recognize when it is, um, time to walk away from that situation so that you can continuously 
embark on your journey, continuously create and continuously grow. Remember, whenever we fall into forms of complacency or old patterns that we know, we know are toxic and are not good for us. You know, in the depths of your core. See, the thing is you can, you can lie to your friends and family and you can try to lie to yourself, but your energy, you can't lie to the energy, you can't lie to the universe. You know what I mean? So it's very good to be uh, open and honest and real with ourselves. That realness we have with ourselves gets projected to our beings around us. And we come off as trustworthy and, um, uh, and, and, and truthful and, and, truly the beings that we are, are here. So just remember that, okay? Anytime you feel like you're deceiving your, your, your true self, your authentic self, you, it will be projected back to you by the reactions of those around you. Maybe someone might not give you the respect you feel like you should, should be getting or the kindness. And that's when you wanna look at yourself and be like, hmm, okay, well, how am I not giving myself the respect and how am I not being truthful and kind to myself, okay? That's how you're always gonna know. The world will always reflect back to you what you're not doing for yourself. So it is a beautiful lesson at, at all times of the day here. So just know that because again, wherever you put your focus is what's gonna manifest. So if you're looking for this beautiful family loving connection, which is here for you, universe is saying, is absolutely here for you, you've gotta put your focus into the good right into the good. It's like if you're in a relationship, but you're only focusing on the negative traits of your partner, which happens because we connect with our partners and we're generally drawn into a, a characteristic of our partner that we have repressed or that was repressed in childhood. So if your partner is outgoing and you are shy, but naturally you are outgoing, but it was repressed from beliefs of your parents or yourself or experiences, then you'll be drawn to your partner because of their outgoing nature. However, as we connect and the more that that beginning love stage, you know, didn't swing, swindles out, goes out, then what's gonna happen is that characteristic that once was a charming quality is now gonna be annoying. It's gonna come off as annoying, irritating, all right? So in order to keep the love alive, first of all, it starts with ourselves. We have to be satisfied and fulfilled with the actions we are taking in alignment with our higher self, following those good vibes, but also being really mindful about where we're putting our focus with our loved ones. Trust me, there's all there's 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 always going to be negatives and positives of every situation in this life. But if we focus on the negatives, that's what we will see for all my logical thinkers out there. It's the reticular activating system in your brain. Whatever you focus on will be. It's like when you go to buy a new car, all of a sudden you see that car everywhere. It's the same thing. You focus on the negative and the negative will enhance, right? So just be mindful of that and, and, and know that as you move forward on your journey, whatever you would like, so it shall be but be mindful about what it is you would like and stick to that thought, okay? Again, your thoughts are like baby dragons running around up there. And if you don't train your baby dragons now, they're gonna grow up to be really big dragons. And then when you don't train your baby dragons, they're gonna grow up to be very unruly and very unmanageable thoughts, right? And so the more we can train those baby dragons at this stage, right, when they're just small, you know, and we can really tell them, no, listen, you need to sit and you need to only, you know, cook my marshmallows and my hot dogs, thank you. Other than that, burn nothing, right? And then once we train them, right, command them to only support what we want, you know what I mean? I am a being full of love. I only see joy and kindness. I would, I'm, uh, uh, money flows to me endlessly. Everything I touch is prosperous. I am a love magnet, right? Everything that we want, we align our thoughts with. We train those dragons at a young age and it becomes a dominant habit or becomes a dominant belief. So when they're big dragons, we can ride them and we can you know, have them support us and work for us, right? The more that we think a thought, it becomes a belief. So just think a thought so efficiently and so habitually over and over and over that it becomes a belief even if at first you're in the middle of oh my gosh this relationship is just I can't even believe I'm in this relationship it was once good now it's crazy I don't know how to get out what do I do you keep thinking the thought of abundance. You keep telling yourself, I love my partner. I love this is what their qualities. I love this is what they do. I love this is who they are. I also love myself. I love this. I love what I do here. I love what I do here. You know what I mean? Come from a place of love, of abundance and, and habitually think those thoughts and say those thoughts to yourself so that that becomes your new belief, okay? Then you will have the freedom, Pisces. The freedom will be yours because you will be in the driver's seat. You will be playing the game that you came here to play, which is, remember, you are an internal immortal being. You know what I mean? You are infinite. 
you know, your soul will live on forever. And in order for you to align with that version of yourself, that higher self of yours, it's always about reaching for the love because there will be a fear program in every situation. But the more that we let the baby dragons become unruly, breathing fire everywhere, is the more we let those thoughts and that fear get the better of us, right? And then all of a sudden there's a, you know, a forced fire in our minds and the anxiety will be overwhelming. We'll have anxiety attacks, right? We will have um, a mental warfare up there because the baby dragons are untrained, going crazy. You know what I mean? So train your baby dragons, Pisces, and just know that that will truly be your salvation because whatever we think is what we feel. All right, Pisces. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Pisces. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.